Hey there, this is Sarah from saradesign.com and in this quick video I'm going to talk to you about sizing your images for Etsy using the ratio tool that's built into Photoshop. So if this is your image and you have like a tall one like this, say you sell customized uh, glassware for weddings and you were to upload this to Etsy, it's going to make you crop it for that view that people see in search and on the front page of your site. They can still zoom in and see the whole picture, but when they're just surfing through Etsy, they're going to see a cropped view. So if you've done something like this, where there's important information in another area of the picture, and then it gets cropped, it's, gonna, it's not going to work out on Etsy. So let me show you what happens when it's cropped to the right size, and let me show you how to crop it to the right size. So if you wanted to just save this image cropped perfectly for the Etsy thumbnail view, what you do is you get your cropping tool, which is over here. It's the one, two, three, four, the fifth tool down in the toolbar. And the keyboard shortcut is C for that. And if we go up in here in this little drop down, chances are it's going to be on original ratio in your Photoshop window. But if you go into it, there's some choices. Etsy's ratio is 5-4. 5-4 isn't an option, but 4-5 is. So click 4-5, and it crops it to 4 across by 5 tall. And what you want to do is flip that. So there's these double arrows in between the 4 and the 5. Just click those, and it switches to 5 wide by 4 tall. So this is the Etsy size. And you see you can drag the picture around. Um, either with the keyboard arrows or with your mouse behind to get it into place the way you want it. Now, as you can see here, if I've cropped in to the view that everyone's going to see on Etsy where your product is completely in view, any text that you had above that is missing. So actually, let me go back and turn that on. All right, so if we had that on and then we were setting up our crop, all right, and we're sliding our picture into place, we're like, oh no, all my important information has gone out of the window. So it's better to know this now than to know it later, because if you need to say available in three styles and you want that to show on the main image, you're gonna need to move it. So if I hit escape, I can grab the move tool, I can grab my text, drag it down here where people would be able to see it, I can get my text tool, I can highlight it all, we'll just select all, I can make it smaller and change it up so that it fits better. Maybe over here to the side, I can transform it. There's lots of tools I'm using. I'm using some keyboard commands that you might not know, that's okay. But if you just wanted to have a little note in here to let people know this was available in three styles and you want that in view on your main cropped image, you would be able to tell exactly what to do because you've used this ratio tool to show you where it's going to crop. And then you just hit return and it crops it. And do note this little area up here at the top where it says delete cropped pixels, that is unchecked. That means I can go back in and adjust this crop again. So if I were to click the move, I always click the move tool when I'm going in between tools. If I click it to kind of clear things out and I click crop again, and I were to start cropping, you can see the actual image is still back there. It's not gone. If I had had delete cropped pixels on there, those pixels would be gone and deleted and I could never get my original image back. And a quick tip, if you have the history palette open, which you can find under window, history, you can do a bunch of undos. So if you want to back up a few steps, it's easy to go back and do that. And you can go back to your main layers. So there you go. I hope you can see how easy it is to size things for Etsy to the right ratio. Um, when you're talking about the image size, like of the file itself, you can get a sneak peek of that down here. If you click in this area, at the bottom of the screen, and you can see that the width is 4,480 pixels wide and the height is 6,720 pixels. This is enormous. The minimum you want to go on um, Etsy is 1,500 wide by any height and then the maximum is 3,000 wide.
So we know that since this is over 4,000 wide, it's already bigger than it needs to be. So if I were to actually save this out myself, what I would do is I would go up to image, image size, I would change it to 3,000 wide. I don't care what the height is, doesn't matter because we're going to do that ratio thing. And resolution is 72 because that's screen resolution. We're not doing this for print. Okay, so now it's 3,000 pixels wide, and then I grab that crop tool with my 5-4 crop, and I kind of scoot things into place the way I like them. And I hit return, and then I would save this out, and it would be perfectly sized to Etsy.